Hey everyone, a new Kosher type has just been added to the game in Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And um, if you want to use it in your game, you can go to the object selection, then uh, under filter, set OpenRC2 official, and then here you can find the Alpine coaster. Now the coaster track was already in the game, but now the vehicles have also been added. Now this is a really unique kind of coaster. Uh, which uh, uh, operates unlike any other coaster type. So um, yeah, here we can see it in the game. Um, I will just quickly make a station. And uh, yeah, under special, um, not uh, many things. It's S-Band and helixes up and down. Obviously, uh, this is not a coaster type which you would expect any inversions on. Now, uh, something which is quite unique to this coaster is that if you do an uphill section, uh, it will automatically get a chain lift. Um, for this coaster type, guests actually have some control over their speed. Uh, so just like in go-karts, uh, some guests will go travel faster uh, than others while riding this, uh, this uh, coaster type. So the problem with uphill sections without a chain lift is that uh, yeah, some guests will be going quite slow and uh, there's always a chance that they could stall and then everybody in the ride would get stuck. So that's why if you make an uphill section, uh, it will always uh, automatically get a chain lift. Now, if you don't want a chain lift on an uphill section, uh, it would make your coaster, uh, your Alpine coaster unrealistic, because I believe they don't usually have uphill sections. But if you really want it, um, you can uh, set this sheet, enable all drawable track pieces, and then you can also disable the chain lift if you, uh, if you desire. But yeah, typically, uh, real Alpine coasters will not have uh, uphill sections. Uh, maybe the ones that don't allow you to actually brake. Um, but yeah, the ones that do allow you to uh, to brake the the vehicle uh, definitely don't have uphill sections. Anyway, just going to uh, um, disable the cheat for now, and let's give this ride a chain lift. Let's do a bit of a straight section here. Right. Now, typically these coasters will follow the landscape quite closely. Uh, typically you'll find them in hilly or mountainous landscapes. That's usually where, the, where you can find these kind of coasters. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to make a layout with some helixes. Maybe also a curved drop, because that's so also something these coasters can do. And uh, yeah, just going to quickly make a layout that uh, goes back to the station here. Now, by default, the coaster spawns with a lot of vehicles. I'm just going to uh, tone it down a little bit. 16 cars, probably enough. For a layout of this length, uh, maybe maybe we can have, probably have, can have 20. Um, now, something which you can also see is that um, we don't actually have the test button or test flag on this ride. Um, it always has to operate with riders. So let's just open the ride. And let's see, um, I'm just going to let some guests into the park so we can actually see this coaster in action. All right, let's watch these guests here. And probably we should see a, um, a difference in the speed of these guests. Now it may be uh, difficult to see um, right now, but Probably at some point later in the track, you will see some of these uh, vehicles get closer to each other. Uh, yeah, some guests will actually ride these uh, um, coasters a bit slower. And what I have also seen is that um, these riders will actually uh, brake or slow down when uh, when there's a vehicle uh, yeah, close to them in front of them. I will just um, um, lower the minimum waiting time a bit. And then we may see some uh, um, guests get close to each other. It actually happens uh, over here. So uh, these uh, riders here, they're uh, a bit slower. 
then the ones behind him so the ones behind him now uh, follow them um, yeah at a bit of uh, they follow them pretty closely but usually um, I believe they will not actually touch again here you can see some uh, slower riders holding up the ones uh, behind them and what you can also see is that if there's a lot of vehicles waiting behind the station um, you can actually see the trains uh, slow down um, to avoid uh, yeah, to avoid a hard collision so yeah, this is a very unique coaster type um, yeah I think it's one that was really missing from the game uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 does have an alpine coaster um, and this is definitely a coaster type that uh, that I really wanted to build in a park like a Mount Dirklink. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll see this uh, coaster type appear in a future park of mine. Anyway, um, yeah, you can now also build it in your park uh, if you want. I think it looks like a fun uh, coaster type. It may be a little bit uh, tricky at first to build around its uh, restrictions, but. Uh, I think it can, uh, can look really nice in a mountainous landscape. Alright, that was it for this video. If you uh, like this coaster type, if you like this video, uh, please consider giving this video a like. Um, these vehicles in the track were made by Extreme256. Um, yeah, that was all I wanted to say for this video. Hope it's uh, useful for you and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Yeah.